All right, what's up guys? This is Mark from Entrepreneur Zone and I'm tired. This week, all my videos, I'm gonna be tired because I recorded all of them on the same day. I didn't sleep last night finishing the Entrepreneur Zone course on Amazon Dropshipping. So join Entrepreneur Zone because I didn't sleep last night to finish that course for you guys. It was $9.97. You get a full Amazon Dropshipping course. But anyway, let me get into the video. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about should you drop ship using high discounted gift cards and the consequences of or, or, or some of the challenges that not drop shipping with high discounted gift cards would come up so what do i mean when drop shipping on amazon a lot of us use walmart home depot academy sports kmart sales overstock um, as supplier there are places like paxful there are places like card bazaar that you can get Walmart, and there are places in the dark web that you can get Walmart gift cards at 20 to 35% off. You can also get Home Depot gift cards at 20 to 35% off. Now, I have personally lost close to half a million dollars dealing with these gift cards because gift cards are, it's a number, it's cash. If anyone sees it, they can use it. You're talking about when we were using gift cards, we were selling like $50,000 a day. We were moving hundreds of thousands of dollars of gift cards in weeks, millions of dollars in about a month. So it was easy to lose track. Now, gift cards tend to work, but not at scale because of how hard they are to manage. Buying gift cards on the dark web on any of these sites that give astronomical discounts these, after doing some research myself, these gift cards come from scammers who do like dating scams and have people send money somewhere. People who think they're selling gift cards to their family. A lot of crazy stuff, dude. Like I've dig, dug deep into this, the corners of the internet to figure out what happens. And one, you're playing with some illegal stuff because you're playing up with stolen property. And two, it's not scalable because it's a complete black hat action. I am not here to tell you if to do it or not because you're gonna do what the fuck you want anyway. I am just here to tell you the consequences of doing that. Now, if you're drop shipping from Home Depot and Walmart and you see people selling items at crazy low prices and they are FBM and not FBA, then... <coughs> yeah. Then you know that they're using discounted gift cards. Should you compete with them? If there's high volume, generally speaking, you can order a ton of the same items, especially high price items, with gift cards. So if you notice that there's a dropshipper at really low prices and you want to compete with him, another reason can be, I mean, probably compete on high moving items and understand that he can do it for If you want to try the gift card game, do it at your own risk, but my personal advice is don't do it. We have stopped doing it for a while, almost a year now. We have stopped using high discounted gift cards for almost a year because it's not a long-term way to build a dropshipping business. I actually learned a little bit a little bit of this from, um, what's his new name? Tommy Rodriguez, a whole clip here about what he said when Grant Cardone interviewed him about it. But yeah, guys. My advice to you from the years of experience in this industry is to stay away from discounted gift cards. Build your business with a long-term game plan so you can invest, you can reinvest, and you can plan how much money you want to make next week, next month, next year, five years from now. Have a good one, guys. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comment section. Anything I can help you with, in the description, join Entrepreneur Zone. You can have us manage your account. Peace.